It's a little difficult for me to describe it holding a microphone, but I'll do my best. So basically, a gopi finds Lord Krishna in her house after he's been stealing some butter. So she catches hold of him and she takes him to his mother to complain. She says, your son, Krishna, all he's interested in is going around the village, flirting with the girls. What are we to do? If we question him, he just has crooked answers for us. For example, one time he came to me and offered me a ripe fruit. He said, please take this fruit. I said, no. He begged me, please take it. This is the ripest, juiciest fruit you'll ever taste. Still, I didn't want it. Then he begged me, please take this fruit. So, rather unwillingly, I took it. I wasn't sure whether I should eat it. And sure enough, he snatched it away from me. On another occasion, he came to me with a beautiful flower. He offered me the flower. I, I definitely didn't want it this time. So he said, this flower smells so beautiful. Please take it. He said, he started to cry. And then he looked at me from the corners of his lotus eyes. And he said, cover your eyes and I will put this flower into your hair. So I did. And I waited for quite a long time. And then when I looked, he'd given it to another girl. <laughs> Sometimes, when we're plaiting our long hair, he pulls it from behind. And when we turn around to see who's the culprit, he hides. And then he runs away, picks up a stone, 